Hello everyone, welcome to qfox.com. This is Arun Motori. In this Selenium automation tutorial series, I am going to continue with the topic Firebug and Firepath alternatives. As part of this topic, I already covered 11 parts in the previous videos. In the current video session, I am going to cover the 12th part that is MRI for IE browser. So let's get started. So what is MRI? Before going to the MRI, we, we used to have two legendary add-ons in Firefox browser in the earlier days. Those are nothing but Firebug and Firepath. They used to auto-generate and validate the XPath expressions and CSS selectors for us and thereby help the Selenium automation engineers in doing their job easier, right? But they got deprecated and discontinued, guys. As we cannot use it now, we, there came a good number of other alternatives, okay? Other alternatives in that MRI is one of them. So MRI is not an add-on guys, okay? We have to configure MRI in our IE browser though, okay? I will show you how to install or configure MRI in IE browser. It's not an add-on to be installed on IE browser, but it's a kind of option you are going to see in a practical way now, okay? So in this current video session, I'm going to practically show you how to install or configure MRI in IE browser. And with the help of this MRI, I am going to validate XPath expressions and CSS selectors in this IE browser. Okay, so guys, let's switch to the practical mode now. So open Internet Explorer browser in your machine, guys, and Google search for MRI IE. Okay, when you Google search for MRI IE, you will get this link that is MRI for web developers, westciv.com slash MRI. Just click on this link, guys. You will be taken to this page. Okay. Once you are taken to this page, it says that you need to drag this MRI option to your bookmarks bar of your Internet Explorer browser. So this is the Internet Explorer browser, but at present the bookmarks bar is not being shown. How to show it? Right click on this Internet Explorer browser, you will get different options. Now select the favorites bar. Okay. This is favorites bar is nothing but the bookmarks bar guys. So now drag this MRI and drop onto your favorites bar of your IE browser like this. When you drop it, you will get this confirmation dialog asking you to confirm. Simply say yes, guys. So when you say yes, you see this MRI got dragged and dropped onto this MRI, this favorites bar of this IE browser like this, right? Now, once this MRI is added to your favorites bar, browse omaya.blogspot.com like this, okay? So this is a, this is the sample application. omaya.blogspot.com is a sample application where you can see good number of elements on the web pages, okay, on the web page. Now guys, click on this MRI, okay, this bookmark. Just click on this bookmark from your favorites bar, okay, of your IE browser, and you will get this MRI of functionality like this. Now here, we need to enter either the XPath expressions or CSS selectors for locating the elements. For example, guys, you already know, I already know the XPath expression for this text field. So let me type the XPath expression for this text field and see whether Using this MRI, we are able to validate that XPath expressions or not, okay? Double slash input, at the rate, name is equal to Q, okay? So I can manual, I have manually created the XPath expression for this text field because I already know the HTML code for this field, guys, okay? So now if I say MRI, you see what's happening? This MRI functionality is validating this, properly validating this XPath expression and confirming us that using this XPath expression, we can locate this text field, okay? Not only the XPath expressions, guys, not only the XPath expressions, we can also, we can also validate the CSS selectors also. For example, there's a button here, BOT2, okay? For this button, okay, we have to use something like hash BOT2, okay, hash BOT2. So this is a CSS selector for locating this button, guys, okay? So let's validate using the MRI and press enter or press this MRI button. You see, using this CSS selector, we are able to locate this button. That's how MRI, MRI is able to validate this CSS selector and help us in confirming that this CSS selector is able to locate this button. So this is how guys, close this MRI after you are done. So this is how you can use MRI for validating the XPath expressions and CSS selectors in IE browsers. So, so let's switch to the presentation mode. So guys, I have practically demonstrated how to configure MRI in IE browser and how to validate using this MRI 
okay this xpath expressions and css selectors using mri okay how to validate the xpath expressions and css selectors using mri in ie browsers i practically demonstrated these two things for you so here ends this current video session guys in the next video session i'll explain installing and using true path okay in chrome browser this is another add on guys as an alternative for firebug and Fire, firepath and firebug okay we can use another add on like true path in chrome browser so that i will be explaining in the next video session so that's it guys see you in the next video session thank you bye